And I just <laughs> went like this and I just shook my body and I shot the ball. The name always sticks when you don't name yourself, you know? <laughs> we'll edit that. Okay, that was a swish. I was in Vietnam for vacation. I was just hooping with like a couple of friends. He was asking me, so are you gonna play in the VBA? But I didn't really know about the VBA. I was on vacation and my mom didn't want to let me try out. How bad of a struggle was it to get your mom to allow you to come here? Because I can imagine she's just like, dude, I just took years to get over to America. Why are you she going did. back? She did say that. She's like, why would you want to go back to a place that um, I wanted to leave to give you a better future? I told her, I was like, I don't know anything about Vietnam. Years go by, countries and everything changes. There's, there's a lot of opportunities in the world. You just got to go and find it. I was like, mom. You know, I'm, it's an opportunity, I want to go try it out. She was like, all right, whatever, go ahead. So I bought a plane ticket back, came back, and then went to the tryout. Oh! That nice pass, you saw that nice pass? Yeah. And you feel like, you know, like there's people that look up to you. You want to do something in a way to, you know, prove, prove them right. You should never get too comfortable with where you're at because it could just, you know, all disappear in like seconds. But once we won that medal, everybody's like, oh man, like Vietnam is like not, not a country to mess with now. Once you realize like you got the whole like country behind your back. And that, that's just a whole different feeling. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, he's got your haircut. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, I love you too, man. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. <laughs>